Hey there. So, um, today we're talking about the Gemini 2 podcast setup guide. You know that Python tool that, like, totally transforms content into, uh, podcast conversations? Oh, and by the way, the voices you're hearing right now are also generated using the same repository. Oh yeah, I mean, it's not just any tool, it's powered by Google's Gemini 2.0 Flash experimental model. Like, how cool is that? Right? Okay, so let's dive into the features. First up, it's all about versatility. I mean, you can feed it PDFs, URLs, text files, or even Markdown. And boom! Conversational scripts! Mind blown. And don't forget, it's got high-quality audio generation. Thanks to Google's text-to-speech magic, it's like you're listening to, I don't know, two pros having a chat. Totally. And, oh, two voices, right? Like dynamic duo vibes? Plus, there are five voices to choose from. Absolutely. Plus, it's super robust with error recovery, retries, and my fave part, progress tracking. I live for visual feedback. Same. So, okay, to get started, you'll need Microsoft C++ build tools. Classic Windows setup, right? Groans, yep. But listen, it's easy. Just download from the Visual Studio installer, pick the desktop development with C++ workload, and maybe toss in some optional MZVC build tools. And um, don't forget to reboot. Oh, and add MS build to the environment variables. That's like critical. Right. Now for system dependencies. Linux folks, grab your FFmpeg and Portadio 19-dev with a little pseudo magic. Mac users? Brew it up with FLSMPEG and Portadio. In Windows, get FFFMPEG and make sure it's in the path. Okay, then project setup. Clone that repo with Git. Yup, and create a virtual environment. Python devs know the drill. Python dash M V E N V V E N V and activate it. Easy peasy. Oh, and install dependencies with pip install dash R requirements dot txt. So basic, yet so important. Don't forget the .nv file. Just pop in those API keys for Google and assign voices. I mean, who doesn't want their podcast to star Puck and Karay? Ha ha, right? Now, required files. There's a checklist. You'll need stuff like generate underscore podcast dot py, generate underscore script dot py, generate underscore audio dot py, and more. Don't skip this step, or it'll be chaos. All right, let's move on to usage. You'll run python generate underscore podcast dot py. Input your content sources like PEDFs or URLs and type done when you're well done. Then comes the magic. Review your script in podcast underscore script dot txt. Love it. Hit enter. Not feeling it? Type Q to quit. Simple. And wait for the audio to generate. There's even a progress bar because visual cues are life. Preach. Output specs are legit too. WAV format, stereo channels, 24 kilohertz sample rate, and 16-bit depth. Top tier audio quality. Oh, before we forget, contributing is super welcome. Fork the repo, create a feature branch, commit changes, push, and ta-da, pull request. And the license. MIT, AKA, the friendliest license ever. You can tweak, share, and build on it. Go wild! Huge shout out to Notebook LM's podcast feature for the inspo. And uh, similar projects like Podcastify. Legends. All right, that's a wrap on the Gemini 2 podcast setup guide. Go forth and create amazing podcasts. Catch you later! Bye! And happy podcasting!